I sound like a silly question, but all of this is powered by the sun. Everything. Everything. It always has been. It's just amazing. Since day one. It's amazing. So it's it's a, it can be done, and it can be done in this day and age, it could actually be done quite economically. Right. It's, it's a good decision. I always say, mine is a small company. Imagine if large companies became energy efficient as we are. It's just, you don't have to believe in climate change. It's just an assault on our planet when we burn a tremendous amount. Just imagine if every day you had a, a wood burning oven in your house yeah. that was heating your house. Clearly, that's not a good environment inside your house. That's effectively what we do as a society. When technology has given us a multitude of options from solar power to wind power to tidal power to geothermal power, there's all sorts of, we're probably 50 years behind where we ought to be. Right. It's funny, I was looking for the dogs. <laughs> but the, 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 do the dogs are not here for this show. So, but there's all sorts of alternatives out there. And, and again, it has nothing to do with climate change. It just has to do with being cleaner and more responsible. And, and I think I, any, any company in any industry can choose to do their job um, <laughs> dirty or clean. I, We've chosen to do it clean. It pays for itself though, doesn't it? Like after um, the initial investment? It, it does. In, initially it did not, but now it does. Right. And, and, it, and it's always something that I, because I'm someone who I, uh, I love to, I love to mountain bike, I love to run trails, I love the outdoors, I love nature. And, and there was a saying I encountered a long time ago, and it's, uh, apparently I believe its origins are a Native American saying, and, and I think it's a saying that doesn't just apply when you go out into nature, which is where I heard it applied, but that the only thing they say when you go out into nature is the only thing you should leave behind are footprints. There you go. And the only thing you should take away are memories. Right. So, so I think as a company, as an industry, um, we hopefully do the same thing. That we're not a burden to the planet, that all we do is provide good memories and positive experiences to everyone who use our products. And I, I always appreciate that opportunity to go around with Andrew and show you what this is all about. Because, you know, as we are every day bombarded with adverts and commercials and lots of amazing things, it's amazing to see the true, not only genuine passion that Andrew has, but you've always wanted to go about things the right way. Well, not the easiest way, also, but the right way. I think it was Ralph Waldo Emerson who said, probably misquoted, he said the equivalent, something like there's, there's only one right way to do everything. And, and maybe there's not only one right way, but there is a right way. And, and I think as a, as a business, as a company, it, it's correct to be more responsible, yeah. whether it's being environmentally responsible, yeah. whether it's being socially responsible, we haven't spoken about it, but for every bottle of my products you get, we donate three 30-day supplies of prenatal vitamins. Yeah. I think we've donated a couple of billion prenatal vitamins in the, the whatever the seven or eight years we've been doing this. So I think there's always a more responsible way to do everything, and since the, the entire purpose, goal, the basis, or if Muriel was here in French, we'd say the raison d'être, the reason for being of my company, um, is, is health and wellness and well-being. It should go without saying that we do engage in those things. So, so I'm just being consistent with the quality of our products and, and the goal of our company. And, and it's something that I've always done since day one and something that we'll always continue to do because it's important, I think, to be a, a responsible citizen. I think you expect that from us. Given the quality of our products, it would be hypocritical if we had a, a company that wasn't environmentally responsible and socially responsible, so we are. And I feel, you know, I know again, as kind of sappy as this may sound, I feel proud to help support something that really is doing so much. And if you take vitamins of any sort or any kind, all we're asking you is try Andrews or compare Andrews, because Andrews are full of none of the plus, bad stuff. Plus we, we have, and when you go to stores, you can't get, and right now you'll get a money back guarantee until sure. January 31st, so you really can try them. And if you don't like them, you get to send them back. And, and the case with most supplements that you see, I think the majority of supplements sold in America, certainly that are sold in, in supermarkets, and I think the largest brands in America now are the brands that have the, the supermarket's name on them, whether it's going to be uh, Walmart's brand or Costco's brand or Target's brand, whoever it might be. And obviously, they're not vitamin manufacturers. So what do they do? They go out to co-packers, contract manufacturers, they go out to guys and say, um, give us a bid for making this multivitamin or for this vitamin C or this omega-3. 
And there's no technical scientific person that I'm aware of at most of these large retailers that are making a determination the way we would here, that we make everything here. We have a laboratory that assays every single material before it gets anywhere near production. We assay the product during production. We assay the product after production. So it's an entirely different pr approach when the product you're getting is coming from the company that's actually making it. And, and I think that's why, that's why our products are so different. That's why they're so highly reviewed. That's why unlike the typical products you see out in the supermarkets, those are all tablets. Tablets are cheap to make, they're hard to swallow, they're hard on your stomach, they're not a good experience. We make products that because we're so directly connected to you, I can't escape your reviews. If I turned my products into tablets, I could guarantee oh. that our number of our reviews, instead of being 4.6 or 4.7 star average, would probably be between three and three and a half. Yeah. Even if everything else was equal. If we added, if we had the additives necessary to make tablets and, and created those tablets. So everything about what we do is with an eye toward making a product that not only delivers you benefits, but also doesn't come with all the unpleasant experiences that a typical nutritional supplement. And, and also, typical supplement companies have hundreds and hundreds or thousands of products. We do not. We don't focus on products unless they're serious science. Even though a product might be popular and sell, if it doesn't have serious science, we'd rather do without those sales. And, and that happened. there have been so many ingredients over the years that we wouldn't go near with a 10-foot pole, as they say, whether it was ephedra or uh, red raspberry ketone, things like that, that we just, if there's no science and there's no benefit, we won't make it no matter how popular it might be. So just a very different approach. We want to let you know cranberry is available at the very special pricing. All of the pricing will expire tonight. Don't forget at midnight. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to walk over this way and kind of gear up for our next item because we've got two monthly specials. Maybe you didn't see these over the past couple days, but two monthly specials, and this is the opportunity. If you order our monthly special, or specials in the larger size, to get that very, very important new launch for Andrew Soleil, his brand new sunscreen. Yeah, he's done a sunscreen, the best in the world. Uh, if you order the larger sizes, you will be one of the first in the world to get Soleil. Andrew, two, two um, monthly specials. It's right. vitamin K2, calcium, of course. Um, where should we start? Well, they, they, they both go hand in hand. Let's start with vitamin K2, okay. MK7. Um, our Cal Mag is easy to understand. Um, most folks have been recommended to take a calcium supplement, and, and that applies to both men and women as we get older. We need to support a healthy skeleton, but e even if you're someone who, as I do, endeavors to get the calcium you need from your diet, the moment you're taking in calcium and, and you're maintaining that substantial reservoir of calcium in your bones, because not only is calcium vital to the strength and integrity of your bones, your bones play a role as being the calcium reservoir for the rest of your body, because all of your cells must have calcium in them to do what they do. Calcium is a normal electrolyte present in all of our cells. And the reservoir of calcium that supplies our entire body is our bones. That's why if we run short of calcium, guess what? Our body needs it, and where does it take it from? It takes it from our bones, and that can cause issues in terms of the strength and integrity of our bones. Osteopenia, osteoporosis. So vitamin K2, MK7. That's the less straightforward of the two here. Vitamin K2, MK7. It has nothing to do, as I said earlier, with vitamin K1. They have some similarities structurally, biochemically. They have very few or no similarities in terms of their role in your body. Vitamin K1 is all about blood clotting. That's why we had the question earlier about green vegetables taking certain blood thinners. Mm. The older school blood thinners like Coumadin, Warfarin, those blood thinners, you had to be conscious of your green leafy vegetable intake because of the vitamin K1 content. But there was always a discussion that if you supplemented vitamin K1 and used those blood thinners, then you didn't have to worry about the, the intake in your green leafy vegetables because you established a baseline that the green leafy vegetables wouldn't necessarily impact. That whole discussion in scientific area is kind of um, falling by the wayside because there's a newer class of blood thinners. Um, that's it, I think one of them is Xeralta. And they, they affect the clotting mechanism in a more direct, more specific fashion, and therefore there's no issues with vitamin K1 intake with those blood thinners. Um, but 
to, to leave the area of blood thinning because vitamin K1, in German, the word for coagulation, blood coagulation, it's spelled with a K. So when they discovered the role of vitamin K1 probably 100 years ago, coagulation spelled with a K, they did that in Germany. Okay, we'll call it vitamin K1 for coagulation with a K. Vitamin K2, MK7 has nothing to do with coagulation, blood coagulation, has everything to do with really the administration of calcium in our body, the distribution of calcium within our body. I have often used the analogy, it's kind of like a traffic cop for calcium within our body. That the, the way our body utilizes and moves calcium, it's fairly complex, but vitamin K2, MK7's role, simplifying it, is to ensure that calcium stays where it ought to stay, stimulating the process in our bones that utilizes and retains the calcium in our bones and discourages the calcium from depositing itself in tissues where we don't want it, like our blood vessels, our arteries, where calcification is undesirable because calcification in our blood vessels, in our arteries, reduces the resiliency, the flexibility of those blood vessels, those arteries, and as I've often said, one of the most important signs of youthfulness and health and vitality is the flexibility and the resiliency of our arteries. As, as many a cardiologist has probably had said, you're only as old as your arteries. So some would say you're only as old as your joints, sure. or you're only as old as your skin. Um, but I think probably more intelligent would say you're only as old as the health, flexibility, and resiliency of your arteries. And vitamin K2, MK7, that is a vitamin. You won't find it in typical multivitamins because of the entire vitamin K issue, but that's why it's become right up there with CoQ10. I say after you lay the foundation of a great multivitamin, multimineral, things to add really become vitamin K2, MK7, and CoQ10. Andrew, a lady that's been watching you for many, many years and has many of your products, Cindy, she's wondering why there's vitamin K1 included in your vitamin K2 MK7 product. We originally made the formula, it's very interesting, we originally made the formula with a little bit of vitamin K1 because we thought many folks taking the vitamin K2 MK7 initially, they think, okay, this is also going to cover me for vitamin K1. Ah. So we wanted to make sure that it, say, it wasn't misleading. But what we've noticed in the last, say, six or seven years of making this, the level of sophistication, understanding the difference between vitamin K1 and vitamin K2 is such that if someone really needed to supplement K1, they'll separately supplement K1. So what we're going to be doing in the future, and that's why it's a fantastic question, we're going to be removing the K1 okay. from our vitamin K2, MK7. Yeah. And if someone wants K1, they can get it separately. Fabulous. Because most people only want the K2, MK7. They're not concerned about the clotting issue with K1. So we're changing the formula in response. It just shows how products evolve. And so the evolution of this product is to in the future remove the K1 because there's no longer confusion about the role of the two. Just a reminder, this is the, the two monthly specials are the only two items which will have that pricing continue through the right. end of the month. Yes. Um, we are gonna move on to calcium, obviously, and talk a little bit about that. We spent time here yesterday as well, and Andrew, a look, look, ultimately, your products are different to others on the market. Well, what can we expect here? The, the, simple, the, the simple and most straightforward difference of our calcium product I could show you right here is that virtually all calcium, magnesium products you'll see on the market are tablets. Right. Some of them you'll see in a powder. Actually, there, there's a product in the market that's sort of a magnesium citrate product that's kind of a, an effervescent product. Um, it's, it's great, it's, I think it's called Calm or something like that. Okay. We're going to, it's, it's great for calming, relaxation at night, especially uh, I'd like to, we're playing with adding our nighttime ingredients to it. There you go. So you get your magnesium at night and things, but it's, so what my point was, the best way to deliver calcium or magnesium, these minerals that are actually metals, and because they're minerals and metals, they ch have challenge in, in terms of solubility. The best way to deliver them is as a powder either as a powder that you'll mix with, with a fluid that you consume or an ultra-fine powder that's in a capsule that that capsule liberates that powder within moments of your swallowing it so it de delivers beneficial ingredients because the one thing that so many people have, have communicated to us in terms of a typical calcium supplement, hard to swallow, 
and stomach upset. Right. Um, that is not something you'll experience with this product. In fact, it exerts a little bit of a buffering effect. So this is going to be more stomach soothing and stomach settling. So that's the most dramatic thing. It's designed to be soluble and bioavailable, which is a challenge with, with typical calcium products. But more than anything, it's designed to be easy, sw easy to swallow because even the best calcium or magnesium sources put in a tablet are going to be challenging to swallow, challenging to digest, and, and challenging in terms of stomach upset. We are, um, okay, two quick things. Our producer, Steve, just reminded me. Right. Because we get lost in, in, in all these wonderful products that we're offering and airing. If you're ordering today, you get the best pricing, obviously, in terms of the free shipping with a six flex pay. Everything that's ordered today as well is still a part of our extended return policy, and that's really important. Like with Healthy Hair, Skin and Nails, we want you to give it well, a go. You'll have it for at least probably, I'd say, six weeks, seven weeks, yeah. something like that. So, uh, and all of the products, and most of the products, the minute you get them home, you could see the difference. You see the nature of the dosage form. They're small capsules, they're easy to swallow. So right away, you know your experience will be different. Something like healthy hair, skin, and nails, that's something that takes usually a couple of weeks. But it's great this time of year, so you're not limited to 30 days, which is an abundance of time with these products. You'll have a full six or seven weeks to try it. We're going to head over to our next item, one that... Which, just quickly, I could yes, show the, yes. the, the differences in the vitamin K2. I didn't know we had this chart here. As I said, vitamin K2 and vitamin K1, the one thing they have in, in common is a little bit uh, molecularly. And, and what they have similar is the head of the molecule. Okay. But the chain that follows it, that really determines the role it plays in the body, they couldn't be more different. And that's why vitamin K1 plays one role, vitamin K2 another role. The only reason they share a name is because they share a basic component of their structure. But their activity in the body couldn't be more different. It, it goes back to what, Andrew, you've always said, what you care most about in these shows is information. Giving our customers and viewers the information they need to make the right and best decisions. Well, there's, and, and the reason why I do is there's, there's a rather wide body of research that says, and it's probably one of the most important things, if you want to be healthier, the most important thing you do, educate yourself and inform yourself because better decisions follow. Um, ignorance, they often say ignorance is bliss, not really. You know, ignorance ends up, the byproduct of ignorance is us making less than informed, less than intelligent, less than healthy decisions. So the more we learn, the more we kind of stimulate that curiosity, um, and especially, as they always say, the internet is a two-edged sword. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you don't. Um, but the one thing nice about the internet, you sometimes have to filter the content you read because there's some crazy stuff there. But if you go to reliable scientific sources, you could find some fascinating information, and that's why I always encourage folks to use my shows as a start of your process. It doesn't mean you have to buy everything I talk about or buy anything I talk about. The most important thing I always say you get is information, and then what we do with information hopefully is empower ourselves to make better decisions. That's the key. I got some news through about 60 seconds ago, which is pretty big. Algal, the new product from Andrew Lessman, we are going to feature it in this hour. Yes. For a few brief moments, but Very, we'll do it. We'll, we'll talk about both our Max Essential Omega-3 and our Algal DHA, our plant-based Omega-3. So our Max Essential Omega-3 mm -hmm. comes from fish, our, our algal DHA comes from algae, it's plant-based, and some folks like plant-based, prefer it over fish. Our fish omega-3 is the best fish omega-3 in the world. Our algal DHA is now the, the best, best plant-based omega-3 in the world. Both available, we'll talk about that in a moment. Well, perhaps the one supplement that I've started to take which has changed so much for me, or perhaps made the biggest impact in my life is Andrew's CoQ10. If we could spend an hour on just this one product alone, I'd be very happy. Because this is one beyond the reviews, and we're, we're a 4.7 star rating, thousands of reviews. This is a product quite simply unlike any other. If you've been curious about CoQ10, I'd love for you to hear what Andrew has to say. This can change your life, literally change your life, the way you feel. Well, how we feel uh, are the abundance of energy we have right. really determines how we move through the world. And, and I know that even when I'm feeling less energetic, I'll still get to the gym and I'll still tend to exercise, but then it requires 
discipline. It requires much more effort. When, when we have more abundant energy, life just sort of flows. It's, it's more effortless. And I think so many of us, as we age, and aging is kind of an unpleasant process. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I'm sure we all wish we could just pick an age and just stay Stop. there. Yeah, but it, it's sort of, what is it, you, you wake up each morning as you get older and like, what's, what physical issue is it going to be today? <laughs> what part of my body is going to remind me it exists today? But I think one of the most glaring things we notice as we get older, but uh, most of the times we just expect it goes with the territory, is, is we don't have the same abundance of energy. We don't, and with it can sometimes go our enthusiasm, our sort of zest for, for living, and, and if we want to boil it down to a biochemical chemical kind of a molecular level, which is sort of weird. I, I was talking about this the other day, that when I really th think about the, the, the biochemistry that fuels our existence, and we think of our existence as human beings and the richness of our interactions and sort of the history of our societies, and, and then we think about the fact that all of us are just a few hundred trillion cells. Mm. All of those cells only exist and only exist because of the energy they generate, and each cell must generate its own energy. And they generate that energy just by transporting electrons. So they basically take fuel molecules, and as they break down those molecules, the electrical potential in those chemical bonds are transferred to other molecules, and those transport, or that movement of electrons, potentiated by CoQ10, is the energy we experience, is the existence we all le live, whether we go back in history and think of you know, famous people in history, whether it's Abraham Lincoln or Napoleon Bonaparte or yeah. Julius Caesar, whoever it might be, they all shared the exact same biochemistry with you and me, the exact same issues as they aged with you and me, and, and it's all basically boiling down to how well we can move electrons in the hundreds of trillions of cells in our body. And that movement of electrons uh, is basically energy we experience on a cellular level that then fuels our tissues and, and organs and, and systems, and, and here we are, existing. But as we age, that existence changes. Um, and, and so many of the products I make are all about changing how we experience that aging process and to do it more gracefully. Uh, we were talking about before that the more informed we are, the more we potentiate a healthier existence right. because a healthier existence is based upon healthier decisions. And I think that a byproduct of my education hasn't been just the creation of this company. It's, it's been allowing me to be healthier. I never would have dreamed that the age I am today I would still be running and mountain biking the same trails I ran and mountain biked 45 years ago. And you do. So, um, so it's, I never would have dreamt that, but I think with good decisions, uh, there's no guarantees in life, but with good decisions generally comes about better outcomes. And, and I look at CoQ10 as being about as simple and straightforward and fundamental a decision. Again, it doesn't have to be mine. We've been making CoQ10 for longer than anyone, 34 years, it'll be 35 years next year, long before anyone heard about it, thought about it, and our CoQ10 delivers in a fashion that makes it a, a thousands of reviews and again, a virtually perfectly reviewed product. I learned from Andrew that with perhaps not great diet, with stress, levels of CoQ10, it depletes in your body, and this is the finest form, the finest source of it. You heard what Andrew just said. He basically innovated this many, many years ago, so if you put Andrew's CoQ10 against any CoQ10 product out there, I think you'll find it's amazing. I'm gonna break the rules just for one second. I wanna show you the price on this. I do, I have to, because this is the, 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 the deal expires at midnight, uh, the flex pay expires at midnight, and I am so passionate about the difference that this can make in your life. Look, I would recommend you go for the 120 or 240, because I think when you start to feel the difference it makes in your life, which, you'll not want to stop. Which, by the way, uh, when, when we talked about CoQ10 in the 1980s, rule of thumb, back then it was 30 milligrams, 60 milligrams, 90 milligrams. So rule of thumb, a 90 milligram capsule would be about a dollar. Right. So basically, a little over a dollar for 100 milligrams, meaning so back in the 1980s, a little over 200, mil 200 milligram capsule here would be a little over $2. And so 240 capsules back at that time would be over $500. Wow. 
So, um, <laughs> so this is another example of a product that has not become a little bit more <laughs> affordable, but a lot more affordable. I would imagine a, a, a 360 or a 240 count of a 30 milligram CoQ10 was more expensive than the 200 milligram of the same quantity today. So it's one of those examples that not only has the product gotten better, but it's gotten a tremendous amount more affordable. It, this used to be by far and away one of the most expensive supplements. The largest size initially we offered because it was so expensive was a 90 capsule supply. To think that we, a 90 capsule of 30 milligrams, right. to think that we now have a 240 capsule uh, supply of 200 milligrams um, and instead of costing a few dollars a dose, it costs pennies a dose or pennies per day is, is incredible. And you don't need to take multiple capsules unless your doctor, your cardiologist told you you need to. One capsule, 200 milligrams is going to be perfect. Well, we're talking about perhaps signs of aging. Our next item on our Monday night show, special edition. And for those just tuning in, this is not a green screen. We are really here. These are not paid actors and actresses. They are genuine people. I'm, I'm not sure if people know what a green screen is. I'm not sure if everybody you want to explain, knows what a green a screen point. is. No, but you could be in a studio, and it used to be behind. It used to be a blue screen yeah. or a green screen. And I know because if I'd wear a blue shirt with a blue screen, <laughs> you'd see a head. Because <laughs> what what happens? You could then, if you do if you do a broadcast in front of a green screen, and they they do this a lot in special effects in movies, where they then take the actors and they can put them wherever they want. Right. So if we were standing in front of a green screen, you could have a beautiful. Hawaii beach sunset behind us, and you wouldn't know that we weren't on the beach in Hawaii. You'd never know. You could take that video image and place it behind us, and the green screen basically drops out, and there we are. So That is not this. So that's not a green screen. I digress here. So <laughs> what we are, we're in, a, we're in a studio we built on our factory floor because our first broadcast we did here, we used to have to break down the entire factory to do it on the floor, mm. and we'd go out of production for almost a week. And because, and we were gonna stop doing them because it was so disruptive, doing these broadcasts from the factory. But we got so much feedback that this was so important to feeling good about the products and understanding what we do, that we actually built this little glass in, we call it like a fishbowl. So it's right on the studio floor. The dogs can come here because it has its own independent air supply and everything like that, separate entrance. So it's, it's so you get a sense of what we do. And as I say, I'm, I'm proud of what we have here and what we've done to make the best products in the world. And it's an opportunity for you to feel confident. So hopefully your confidence meets my pride in, in what we've accomplished in terms of creating an environment that can show you how uniquely we go about producing your products. And what we also have in this building, we also have full laboratory facilities to test everything we create before, during, and after production. We also have a full customer care center so that we could answer any of the technical questions. If your doctor has a technical question, it will go in. If we don't have an answer, that answer will come to me. That question will come to me. I'll provide the answer. So we really want to make sure that every step of the way, we are unlike the typical company out there. I mean, nowadays, I know sometimes when you shop on the internet, and what's great, it's, it's not that way with HSN, it's not that way with QVC. You could call a number and you can get a human being to talk to. Yeah. Same at my company, that in, in this digital age, yes, maybe you can buy things cheap different places uh, online, but if you have an issue or a problem, you're on your own. So we make sure that your experience from start to finish, we're, we'll do whatever you need, hold your hand throughout every step of the way. As I said, even talk to your doctor if you'd like us to. Well, talking of holding hands, it's, um, it's important that we really, really do what we can to help support our eyes healthy vision. We talked a little bit earlier about the challenges of modern day technology and everybody's on their phones and their tablets. We talk about obviously our eyes just as we get older, they're not as strong as they used to be. And it, it's something I've, I've been acutely aware of because the, the lights in the studio, and these are mostly LED lights, it's part of the reason this blue shirt looks really great yeah. on your TV at home is because there's a significant amount of blue light in these mon in these lights here. Right. So that the blue light in the studio, the blue light on our devices, that's high energy radiation. That's not the best thing for our eyes. So it, it's something that beyond sunlight, which also sunlight is life-giving, but uh, it giveth and taketh away, but sunlight, that radiation is also, especially UV radiation, high energy radiation damaging to our skin, damaging to the tissues of our eyes. 
But not only is this product about protecting your eyes from blue light and UV radiation, but it's all about uh, optimizing the quality of your vision today. When I first introduced this product, all we talked about was long-term protection with lutein and zeaxanthin. And, and by the way, we've been making an eye formula for over 30 years. Again, that's another recent thing that most companies have discovered. We introduced lutein and zeaxanthin decades ago. Another recent thing that companies have discovered. So our product delivers these, these retinal pigments, these optical pigments that are not only essential for protecting your eye from high energy radiation, but also a part of the visual system. So sharper vision, better vision, it relies on lutein and zeaxanthin. Also protecting your eye from high energy radiation relies on lutein and zeaxanthin. Also we provide the components to support and promote healthy night vision, the anthocyanins for their visual purple regeneration, that pigment in your eye. So it's, it's as comprehensive an eye product as you'll find. It's also another product that if you want to get validation, the reviews are almost yes. perfect. And something I have to say, we don't, and I'm constantly asked this question when people see me, they say, are those really the real reviews? You must edit those reviews. You must remove the bad reviews. We take out nothing. I mean, if we've probably removed five reviews in the last five years, that's a lot. It would only be because they had some inappropriate content in them. It's because some people can post crazy Mr. things. Dreamy, that kind of thing. Yes. No, but that's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. But no, so, but we, to be just not, not kidding around, we basically don't touch those reviews. And that's because we want the reviews to be there in all their glory, all their integrity. Yes, there are bad reviews. But typical products of mine, 20 good reviews for every bad review, 95% positive reviews. And Andrew, to that end, I mean, because we've kind of done a couple products that are, I would say, in the Andrew Lesman Hall of Fame. I mean, Ultimate Eye Support is an, a true winner every single time because of what people say. Dare I even go so far as to say the reviews on this product are perhaps some of the most emotional that I've well, ever read? I would say this and uh, circulation vein support yes. because it deals with uh, two issues. That, that really can affect the quality of our life, the quality of our experience. And, and this is a product that when, when you read the reviews, they're, they're compelling. And, but the science is what has really driven this product. I've been making this product, um, initially just called eye support, for about 35 years. Originally, it was the basics. Mm -hmm. And I'm dating myself now, 35 years, that um, vi basically vitamin A, C, and E and delivered in their best form, but that was the start. And, and then from there, lutein, and then eventually zeaxanthin, and then the anthocyanin containing berries. But all of those changes started happening about 20 years ago. Um, so it's like all of my products, because I've been doing this so long, they've been a gradual evolution. With this product, lutein and zeaxanthin are among the two most expensive ingredients in all of my formulas by, by far. Thousands of dollars a kilogram. Uh, for active material. So they're extremely expensive, but the price on this, as this product has evolved, has basically stayed the same Amazing. for the last 15 or 20 years. If there's anything in your cart, including Ultima Eye Support, make sure you check out before midnight Eastern time. And, and Ultimate Eye, it's one of those things um, we, we don't want to be caught saying, you know, if I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care right, of myself. Right, right. And there are certain ingredients that really do relate to how well our body systems are going to age. And certainly lutein and zeaxanthin, the omega-3s that lutein and zeaxanthin partner with in our eye and our brain, because actually lutein and zeaxanthin, it's been shown in numerous studies recently that those of us who have the highest levels of lutein and zeaxanthin in our brain, concentrated in our brain, have brains that age better. Uh -huh. So lutein and zeaxanthin are not just concentrated in the retina, in the macular region of our retina, but our eye is really a specialized version portion of our brain. Uh, and again, our brain, lutein and zeaxanthin, are concentrated protective compounds concentrated there as well. We have some information and some news, and I'd like to kind of bring everybody back about 24 hours ago or so. We were in this studio. Actually, it was Andrew with Shannon. Uh, and Andrew launched a brand new product that has been a long time in the making. It's yes. called Algal. Uh, one of the things that, um, by the way, it sold out. We had a few more yesterday. Yes. Uh, I believe they sold out. One of the things that I appreciate is how proactive Andrew and his team are. If you missed out on Algal, 
I have information that we have it available right now. And Andrew, what is this? And what, what this is, it's a perfect way to sort of spike your max essential omega-3 with extra DHA. Because I still take the max essential omega-3 as my foundational omega-3 product. But we wanted to make uh, an algae, a plant-based omega-3. A lot of folks wanted a plant-based omega-3 product. They've been asking me for one for about 30 years because I've been making a fish oil product for over 30 years. But I, I looked at the market, I looked at the, the large suppliers of algae-based DHA. None of them met my standards in terms of the, the nature of how they processed, whether it was non-GMO or not, um, the, the flavor or taste, until recently. And now we have a plant-based omega-3, 100% pure DHA, which is the most important of the two. When I'll talk about our max essential omega-3 in a moment, our max essential omega-3, it's difficult. The standard balance is mostly EPA and a little bit of DHA. Even though in nature it's the other way around, it's about 60-40 DHA EPA, which is what our max essential omega-3 is. It really mirrors a more natural balance. This product I'm talking about here is 100% DHA from algae. So it's not from fish, it's from a plant. And, and it has no fishy aftertaste whatsoever, no repeat, nothing that's going to upset your stomach. It's, it's a remarkable ingredient that actually comes from, it comes from just uh, up north. It comes from Canada. Wow. It comes from a unique region, area in Canada, Nova Scotia in the northeast of Canada to the northeast of Maine in the U.S. Um, there's an area there called the Bay of Fundy. It's kind of a narrow little bay, and sure. the nature of the Bay of Fundy, it has the greatest tidal differences. I mean, we sometimes, in, in say, all, all over the country, we see tidal differences that could be a few feet, but we don't see tidal differences that are 50 feet. And that's what you see in the Bay of Fundy. They have pictures where you can see a boat that's sort of lying on the ground, and then a few hours later, it's, it's up in the water. So, but that challenging environment, challenging for the organisms that need to survive there, there's a, a marine algae that's local to that area that is basically our factory for producing DHA. It's done without harsh chemicals or solvents. It's, it's done in a fashion that's non-GMO because a lot of the algae that produces DHA, the algal DHA, it's gen genetically modified algae. This is not genetically modified algae. So again, it's a perfect, perfect partner with our Max Essential Omega-3. If you want to get some extra DHA for your eye, extra DHA for your brain, and you want it to be plant-based, then here you go. And, and also, just so everyone knows, when it comes to fish oil, where do fish get their omega-3s? Fish don't technically manufacture their omega-3. Fish get their omega-3 from microalgae. So we're going directly to the source with this product. We're cutting out the middleman. And yes, algal DHA, when I was going to introduce it about 20 plus years ago, would have been five, 10 times more expensive than standard omega-3. What we've managed to achieve with this product, you're getting 250 milligrams of DHA, and it's the same price as our 500 milligrams of fish oil. So it's now in the ballpark, and that's thanks to the folks up in Canada who make this product for us. It, it real, this, this ingredient for us, it's become an affordable product for the first time. And it's a quality of algal oil that finally meets my standards for the first time. We are, with everybody placing orders, about 1,500 now available for shipment. If you go online at hsn.com, that's your fastest way to get in, don't forget. Algal has finally arrived. I'm thrilled that we could spend even just a couple of moments on it. Um, it's brilliant. I mean, a plant-based source of nature's most important omega-3 fat. DHA. Thank you for all of your orders. If you're shopping tonight, six flex pay on everything. For the first time I've ever known it, six flex on all of Andrew's products. So certainly take advantage of that. We are also, I believe, mentioning Andrew, your the classic omega three. Obviously, well, again, the, world famous. And, and that is, I mean, if you look at the science, if you look at the research. Um, it's all about fish oil, not about krill oil. We have a krill oil product. If you insist on krill oil. 
it's just too expensive, and right. it doesn't deliver. It doesn't deliver high enough lev levels based upon the expense. Um, our max essential omega-3 is fish oil made properly in its natural form with the proper ratio of DHA and EPA, so you're getting both, but 60-40 DHA EPA. Standard products are more two to one EPA DHA, and DHA is the more important. So we were just talking about our algal DHA, which is 100% DHA, 100% of the more important of the two. So this is a, a, it's a wonderful product to add to your max essential omega-3 if you want to enhance the balance of DHA. But the foundational product is our max essential omega-3. It's the most affordable way to get the omega-3s at the levels you want, 500 milligrams, perfect level, 500 milligrams in a single, small, easy to swallow capsule that will never upset your stomach, never be hard to swallow. Uh, wonderful product. I, both the algal DHA or the max essential omega-3, uh, I don't hesitate um, to put a little, you either cut the capsule gently or prick the capsule, and I squeeze it in my dog's food. They, uh, so omega-3s are something that's great for the health of their heart, great for the health of their brain and their eyes, also great for the health of their fur and skin. So omega-3s are essential oils, not just for us, but also for our furry friends. But Max Essential Omega-3, it's like no other omega-3 product in the world. And when I introduced it, it originally I had a standard omega-3 product. Then the, the fishy aftertaste, all those complaints, I made it go away. This is about 35 years ago. And then it took me several years to figure out how to make a fish oil product with no fishy aftertaste. And that's Max Essential Omega-3 that we've had for about 30 years. And I guess now 20 years in the way has been a marine um, omega-3 product, our DHA product, which is now available. So you have both. So if you're someone who insists on a non-fish oil-based omega-3, you now have our algal DHA. But ideally, what I do is my foundation is the max essential omega-3, affordable, never upset stomach, uh, no fishy aftertaste. And then if you choose to enhance the DHA levels, our algal DHA plant-based. Andrew, I forgot to mention there was a lady who had, had, had a message called Amy de Berg, kind of like Chris de Berg, you know, the Chris, yes. lady in red. Um, Amy says, I work in pharma. This is the first time I've seen the facility. I'm very impressed. Oh. Well, as I've often said, the more you know, I think it's easy to appreciate when you see a tour here, but the more you know in terms of a pharmaceutical facility or a manufacturing facility uh, and as such we're we're inspected by the FDA right that's that's something very strict oh very very strict we just had I think it was not more than a month ago we had a, about a one-week inspection wow. so it wasn't like someone popped in said hi and then <laughs> and tea, then right? and then left no it's, it's it's taken very very seriously and we take it very seriously we basically inspect ourselves we have a third party come in mm -hmm. um, and inspect us and do what the FDA would do so we we intend to have a facility that is just absolutely flawless impeccable and Second that's why enough. that's why we're I mean, we don't do any special cleanup before these shows. It, this is just the way we are normally. It's um, it's cleaner here than at my house. And I, <laughs> oh, literally, that floor, I've never seen a floor so clean. Andrew, I've asked you this before, I forget. Does it run 24 hours a day? From Monday through Thursday, okay. we, we run 24 hours a day. Wow. And then certain times of year, like now or before special events, and that's why what we do, we have a lot of equipment here. And part of the reason we have a lot of equipment here is so we don't manufacture a product for an event for a year. That means the product for that event, some of it's a year old. So what we do is, as I was showing you before, our today special in January is about six, seven weeks away. Um, those empty containers are still not filled. Right. So we're going to start producing that product over the next few weeks. We ship it to HSN probably maybe 10 days, two weeks before the shows. So everything is freshly made. So that requires we have more in terms of capacity to manufacture so that we can manufacture everything for today's special within just a few weeks. So everything is fresh. We're not ever se selling old stock because we don't produce stock to be held. We produce everything to be enjoyed immediately. So that's just the nature it's of how we... It's as fresh as it can be. Yep. And so many times you go into I, the store, you don't know how long it's been sat on the shelf. Well, with, with supplements, certainly you can often have no clue whatsoever. What I often say is a lot of the products you're getting from me might be fresher than some of the produce you might be getting in your supermarket. That's Incredible. how, in fact, with things like the algal DHA, yeah. I'm not sure 
we've actually encapsulated that yet because it was only a week ago that we received the frozen we received that frozen algal oil from wow. Canada. Wow. It had to defrost and I would imagine we probably didn't start encapsulating it if we're lucky because we have to do certain testing and assays until maybe Wednesday or Thursday of, of last week meaning just four or five days ago and then it gets bottled and then it will probably be shipped to you in a matter of a week or ten days so you'll be getting algal oil that's probably two or three weeks old when you get it. It's just pretty cool. But it's good to know. It makes you feel good. And, uh, and I'll ask you about cinnamon, and maybe you can answer this question at the same time. We've got more questions about uh, sell-by dates or best before dates, right. uh, how important they are, how rigid we need to be sticking to them. Well, we make sure every one of our products, they all have expiration dates. And one of the most common questions I'm asked, does the product become harmful after its expiration date? Absolutely, positively not, never. Uh, the only thing that those expiration dates relate to is our internal testing. And we, we stress a product to make sure that it's still delivering you adequate potency before the expiration of that time. Of course, all our products should be appropriately stored. You don't want them in a hot area. Certainly our Choco Nuvo shouldn't be at 85 or 90 degrees. It's, it can melt. So we want to make sure that things are in a cupboard or a cabinet or somewhere where it's not in direct sunlight and not just exposed to extreme heat. Um, other than that, the, the expiration date on a product, the shortest expiration date you might see are on things like our Friendly Flora or our Ultimate Friendly Flora that might be as little as 18 months or 24 months. Typically most of the products are 24 months to 36 months. And, and again, something like Calcium Magnesium Intensive Care, uh, that will be fine for years and years, uh, but still we, we only put a maximum three year. Our Fiber Musil, same thing, that will be fine for years, but we still put a three year expiration. So Andrew, cinnamon and berberine, the two together, they work well, right? Well, they work, they work well separately, they work well together. Cinnamon it was the first product that we introduced in terms of helping to support something we tend to focus on a lot right now because of our body composition and, and issues that have been cropping up, glucose metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, uh, the way our body manages insulin. So these are things we focus on. Cinnamon is a natural ingredient that helps to support healthy metabolism in that regard. Berberine does the same. Berberine also um, has a positive impact on our blood lipid metabolism, things like cholesterol, uh, our total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol levels. So berberine is different in terms of how you dose it versus cinnamon. Cinnamon, you take one or two capsules a day, that's all you need to do. Berberine, you're going to have to take one or two capsules per meal three to six capsules daily. Okay. That's why you'll see in a moment when the graphic comes up that berberine is available in much larger sizes for that reason because it will be consumed much more quickly. Three to six capsules per day. Whereas cinnamon, one or two capsules per day. So you look at berberine, up to 720 capsules. And for the quality of berberine we deliver, that's an incredibly efficient price. What, what I've often toyed with doing, um, and I know we were working on it, I don't think we ever put it into finished production, was a blend of berberine with cinnamon. That would be good. Where you would get some cinnamon along with your berberine. So if you're taking three or six capsules of berberine a day, you'd get the equivalent of one or two capsules of cinnamon. So if uh, we'll sort of, I think we'll resurrect that research because so many people now use both products. Right. Cinnamon is simple, affordable, one or two capsules. Berberine, you also want to make sure you take it with meals um, because berberine can be, it's, it's sort of a spice extract. It's similar to turmeric. But unlike turmeric, which tends to be very mild to the stomach, berberine could be a little bit more, um, a little bit more intense for a stomach, so to speak. So I would always take it with meals, one or two capsules at each meal. That's the to get the benefits of berberine. We need to be at at least three to six capsules daily. We're going to head to alpha lipoic acid. I did have a question from Brenda. I promised I'd ask you, Andrew. Um, Brenda is allergic to fish. Can right. she take algal? <laughs> yes. She can. That's, yay! That's, uh, I, I have a friend who's kind of deathly allergic to fish that if, even if fish was on a cutting board at a restaurant and he was having lamb chops or something afterwards and was on the same cutting board and you couldn't taste anything, but he could react very severely. So wow. there are a lot of folks who have, who do have an allergy to fish. And as much as they love to enjoy our fish oil, 
Our fish oil has no fishy aftertaste, but it still comes from fish. But our algal DHA um, does not come from fish. It comes from a plant, a, a primitive unicellular plant that is like a little factory that produces DHA. And that little factory produces the pure DHA, no harsh chemicals, non-GMO. So yes, it's perfect for Brenda. I hope, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Brenda. But I, with confidence, um, they just put a little reminder on the side of the screen that this is the final show. It's been a big weekend for Andrew, his team, the Today Specials. The pricing expires at midnight tonight. Then, then we get six or seven weeks off till, so it will, I wish everybody the the happiest of holidays and, and um, a little ahead of myself, Merry Christmas and Healthy New Year and all. But we'll be back. We, we have a lot of work to do, but we'll be back with, with great today specials and monthly specials in about six or seven weeks. It, it, but we still have till midnight, whatever, whatever you'd want to get will be at all the event pricing yes. until midnight tonight, without That's exception, big. everything. But don't forget, if you're even one minute late, that pricing does expire. What about antioxidants, Andrew? What, what, well, why do I need an antioxidant? Well, antioxidant, I'm, I'm probably guilty of being the person that stimulated the use of that word in the supplement industry. Ah. I've been talking about antioxidants for basically 40 years. I started my company, it's now over 39 years ago. Next year it'll be 40 years. And I always talked about antioxidants. What I, what I prefer to talk about now is, is more protective compounds because the, the antioxidant word is a little bit too almost chemically nonspecific enough. So I prefer the concept that foods deliver us protective compounds and that their protective role isn't just as an antioxidant. Certainly alpha lipoic acid is a very powerful protective compound and much of its role is as an antioxidant, but that is not its exclusive role. It also supports the production of our body's own protective compounds like glutathione peroxidase. So alpha lipoic acid, what makes alpha lipoic acid is that unique is that typically molecules, the positive benefits they exert they have a choice to make, and it was made in advance. Their chemical structure determines whether they have a more lipid or fat-friendly structure, or a more water or aqueous-friendly structure, whether they're hydrophilic, loving water, or hydrophobic, hating water, not afraid of water, or lipophilic, lipophilic, which means they love fat. Uh, alpha lipoic acid doesn't have to make that choice because alpha lipoic acid is a very flexible character. Alpha lipoic acid is both water loving and lipid loving. It's lipophilic and hydrophilic. So alpha lipoic acid exerts its protective benefits in both a lipid based environment like membranes or our brain for instance, our liver. Our liver does all that dirty toxic work. Our brain works hard on our behalf. We wanna make sure there's adequate protective compounds to protect our brain and alpha lipoic acid is lipophilic, so it enjoys and can be in both of those structures. It also can pass through our blood-brain barrier. Also, alpha lipoic acid can exert beneficial effects. We just got done talking about cinnamon and berberine, yep. and alpha lipoic acid is often consumed by those who want to support and protect their body from the potential impact of glucose metabolism and carbohydrate metabolism. Alpha lipoic acid, it's sort of, I always say it's kind of a, a second cousin to CoQ10 in terms of its protective role it exerts in our body. So that, I hope, is uh, kind of an insight into why this is a wonderful choice to make. Obviously, when it's you're- It's our highest potency. It's also our original alpha lipoic acid was 200 milligrams. This is 400 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid per capsule. It's also a form of alpha lipoic acid. I should mention this. I, I actually, next time Miro and I go over to Europe to see your family in France, the company that makes our alpha lipoic acid it's much, much, multiple times more expensive than the alpha lipoic acid you see in any typical product. It's, it's made in, in Germany, but it basically has no solvents whatsoever. The typical alpha lipoic acid you find in, su in supplements in any store is an alpha lipoic acid that has high levels of solvents. It's a much simpler synthesis to make that product, and it's much less expensive, that raw material, but it has levels of solvent that I find unacceptable. So we're forced, even though uh, at, two, at 400 milligrams, our price is exceedingly reasonable, it, it's still, it's a form of alpha lipoic acid that the typical product, I'd say, 
98, 99% of the products on the market don't use the same alpha lipoic acid we use. Well, all good things must come to an end. We have one more before our show is over. Andrew, we, we kind of, we get to this time of the year and we fall in love with the festivities, we fall in love with the food, we kind of wage a war on our body. We, we say, we throw caution to the wind and start eating and eating well, lots of rich things. I, I think, yeah, I think throughout the year, we all struggle with that. And what I always talk about is that um, it's part of our blueprint. Uh, we were designed, our biggest uh, threat to survival was starvation. Mm. So we were designed to be a very effective eating machine. Even if food was scarce, we managed to survive. We found what we could, we ate as much as we could, and we survived. Now we live in a world of abundance where not just food is abundant, but all the wrong food that contains the wrong components is abundant. And, and we do a lot of things that challenge not just our body and obesity and overweight, but challenge our immune system. I was reading a fascinating study the other day that was talking about the escalation of, of childhood allergies, that you, you look at the level of childhood allergies right. in Western society, whether it's peanuts or tree nuts or things like that, that it's escalating dramatically. And what is the root cause of that? And, and what they're theorizing, without getting into too much of the scientific detail, is that we live in this sanitized world. We raise our children in this world wow. where they're exposed to so little that even children that come from, say, the developing world, where they don't have allergies, they, they come to Western society and the incidence goes up. So there's something to be said for maybe a, a little bit of a return to nature and not sterilizing everything we eat and everything we do in a fashion. Certainly, we don't want what they call pathogenic bacteria. We don't want that bacteria that causes a disease. But part of being healthy is having a full complement of friendly flora, probiotics. And who knows, this might be part of the whole equation with that sudden increase in, in childhood allergies as you go around the world, Western societies, not just here in America, it's throughout Europe as well. So, but probiotics, these are organisms, if you counted the number of organisms that are in a healthy person's body, they exceed the number of cells that that person possesses. So we're talking about hundreds of trillions of friendly flora organisms that are responsible for maintaining our healthy immune, immune system, working hand in hand with our immune system, responsible for healthy digestion, healthy nutrient absorption, regularity. So we can't live well without them, but the way we live and the food we eat, the environments we find ourselves in, the drugs and medicines we take, all of them conspire to undermine the healthy balance and the healthy population of friendly flora in our bodies that our immune system and our digestive system and our well-being depend on. So with this, how many per day again? Did you, was it one a day? Uh, with or? this at Ultimate Friendly Flora, one capsule should be plenty. Okay. One capsule, you're talking about 25 billion colony forming units. Amazing. Our standard Friendly Flora is 5 billion and that's abundant. So 5 billion, 25 million with Ultimate Friendly Flora, one capsule per day should be sufficient. But again, uh, if your doctor recommends you take more for a specific reason, you might be taking antibiotics, things like that, then simply follow your doctor's guidance. This is not a product that if you, if you took too much, it's going to be problematic or harmful. So Andrew, as we kind of come to a close, a new year is upon us, 2019. Well, I know what you're going to do. We have, Adam has in his hands, two products that will be coming next year. One is the Sole sunscreen, that the monthly special, today's specials, you'll be getting a small sample of the Sole sunscreen. The Sucrest sweetener, that's our non-sugar, non-artificial sweetener, natural from stevia, but with other, no other sugars in the packet, which most products, even stevia and even artificial sweeteners, they have sugar as a carrier that they don't declare. So that's gonna be coming out. It's remarkable, it's amazing, it's natural, it's non-GMO, of course. <laughs> you will love it. So those are coming out sometime next year, which is very exciting. And what about pet vitamins? Because I got a lot of questions about and, that again. And, and again, because of that packeting machine there, I refused to make a pet vitamin that had additives. 
Um, why would I, I make human vitamins? We're unique in the world. Our human vitamins contain no additives. Why would I make pet vitamins with additives? Pets don't like capsules. So I didn't have a capsule to put those pure powders in. So I wanted to create a dosage form so that little packeting machine I showed everyone before will be able to have a glucosamine pro chondroitin product for your pets, you sprinkle it in food. We'll be able to have an eye formula. We'll even have a urinary tract formula or we'll blend certain formulas. You will tell me what you want, we will design it. It will be pure and additive free because I think at least as much as I love my pets, I would never give them a product that was at all any less pure than a product I would take myself. So that's going to be even probiotics, friendly flora for our pets as well. That will all be coming slowly, gradually, next year and the year after. Andrew, like 10 seconds to answer this. I'm a type one diabetic, is the ALA 400 good for me? Well, again, nothing could treat or prevent, treat, cure a specific disease. Specifically, ask, ask a doctor, but alpha lipoic acid should not be problematic at all if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. If anything, it's going to support your body's systems naturally and show it to your doctor, of course. And perhaps the final um, comment that I'll read out is from Pat who very simply says, happy holidays to Andrew, Muriel, Marcel, Buddy, uh, <laughs> and Lincoln, and of course me as well. Thank you for including me yeah. in there, Pat. Andrew, for me, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Sir. Thank you, Adam. It's always, always a pleasure. And by the way, Adam is as, as kind and just a real human being in, in person as he seems on television. It's, it's, it's not fake. And the same thing with Shannon and Colleen. I'm, I'm blessed to work with just remarkably wonderful hosts who are wonderful people at a great company, HSN. And so we feel the same lucky. about you. The amazing.